Complications arising from surgical procedures caused by faulty devices are rare but can happen, especially as there are some 25,000 companies trying to place their products on the European market. In 2011, the PIP breast implant scandal where cheap industrial silicone was put into implants forced thousands of women to undergo surgery to have them removed. Incidents such as this were proof that legislation on medical devices used in all types of medical procedures, ranging from surgery to diagnostic examinations, needed an overhaul. Parliament gave its full approval to a preliminary text in 2014. We need a clear picture and we need uh, the possibility to give to all the patient a clear view of uh, what they are going to implant in their body uh, in terms of medical device. Uh, in the past we have no uh, security, no uh, process of authorization of the devices. Obligations will be placed in manufacturers to ensure safety as well as random inspections on devices. Patients and doctors will also be given information on implants used to increase traceability. Last autumn, final negotiations between Parliament and Member States began. The two institutions agreed to place a legal obligation on the EU Commission to draw up a list of devices that cannot be reused. But the EU's executive has some reservations. They want a negative list, they want not to have uh, uh, the possibility to reprocess some devices. It is estimated that by 2060 there will be double the number of people aged over 65 years old. And so ensuring medical devices are of the best quality is of utmost importance.